jungle has a mother and father but me. I don't even know who I am. See the words, Nakimba. I just don't know what they mean. If it wasn't so far to the commissioners, I'd. Oh, <laughs> 
I'll tell you the little I've been able to puzzle out of all this. Did you find out who my mother and father are? Does it say where I can find them? Well, not exactly, lad. You said this is the diary of the man who found you and raised you way up there in the hills. Yes, Cody Casson. Well, I gather he left the whole story here. But it's so stained and eaten with mildew, I can only catch a word here and there. You didn't find out anything about them? Aye, a little. Their names were John and Laura Hastings. Or Hawkins. Hastings, I think. Did you hear that, Nakimba? I am Bamba Hastings, or Hawkins. I like Hastings <coughs> best. What else? Well, your father was a map maker working near Geruti. You were about three years old when something happened. I can't tell you exactly what. Anyway, the man who wrote this took you from them and you lived with him in the jungle until he died. And then... I know all that. But what about my people? Where can I find them? That I cannot tell you, lad. But there's a bare chance you might be able to find out for yourself. You had a native nurse, a woman named Linazi. She was one of Chief Gamboso's tribe. Do you happen to know where Gamboso's village lies? Come on, Akimba. to Gamboso's village, Nakimba. Sure. Come back.
I'd like to thank you for what you did for me. Why? It was you who killed the crocodile. Well, yes, but if you hadn't have been there just when you were, I... How did you happen to be there? Is your safari camp nearby? No safari. I live in the jungle. Uh, am I supposed to believe that? I've always lived here, with the animals. The Kimba. Una Tona Bibi. Just who are you? I am Bamba. No. My name is Hawkins or Hastings. I don't know which. I like Hastings best, don't you? Yes, I think I Good. do, but... I'll take you to your camp. Yes, of course. But you must be badly hurt or you wouldn't have forgotten your name. I haven't forgotten. I never knew. I'm on my way to Gamboso's village to find out what my name is. Gamboso's village? That's where my father's safari is camped. Then I'll take you there. Well, not till you've answered a lot of questions, Mr. Hastings. Hawkins, or whatever your name is. Oh, hello, Chief. Come in, have a chair. I'll be waiting a minute. Now then, Chief, what is it you wanted to see me about? Your safari boys tell me you are leaving my village tomorrow, Buana Ward. Yes, we're pushing on to Jeruti. I still have many villages to inspect and not much time to do it. We shall be sorry to see you leave, Buana. Thank you, Gamboso. My stay here has been a very pleasant one. We have been honored to serve you, Buana. Out of the 40-odd villages that I have inspected so far, I found yours to be the cleanest and best governed. I've written it here for the commissioner to see. You make me very proud, Buana. My father gives the orders, but he is old. I am the one who sees they're carried out. You know, it's very strange to find a woman with so much authority in a native village. As my daughter says, I have not many years left. But when I am gone, she will rule in my place as I have taught her. I'm sure she will. And I will so inform the commissioner. What under the sun? What's that with my daughter, Gamboso? I do not know, Buana. Bamba Baya! Bamba Baya! Other tribes have told me of a white devil. Bamba Baya! Baya! He can't be much of a devil if he's Bamba. friendly to Linda. <laughs> Where in the world did you find him? And who is he? He's fantastic, Dad. You won't believe it even after I tell you. Lo, Mbanga. What is it, Bamba? You do not know me. I've never been to your village before. That is true. To many tribes, I am known as Bamba. The jungle devil. No, not a devil. Just a white boy who was left alone to grow up with the animals. I come in peace. What is your business with us? Many years ago, a white Buana came to your village to make maps. His name was uh, Hastings. Do you remember him? No such man ever came to our village. There was such a man. His wife was with him. His name was John. She was Laura. There was a little boy. 
But that was long ago. My daughter has forgotten. Do you know what became of them? No. Like other white bonners, they left my village but never returned. You don't even know whether they're alive or, or dead? No. Only what I have told you. Why do you ask? I was the little boy, their son. How could you have lived alone in the jungles? You were very young. A white man took me in. But that doesn't matter. There was a native woman with them named Lenassi. She was of this tribe. Let me speak to her. She will know what became of them. Yes, Lenassi would know. But Lenassi is dead. Dead? Yes. She came back to the village alone. She was very sick. She died within two days. Maybe she talked with someone. It was long ago, but maybe, maybe some of you would remember. My business here is finished. You are welcome to the shelter of my village if you... No, thank you. I can't say how sorry I am that it all ended this way. This is my father, Mr. Ward. Bomba, if there's anything I can do to help... What can anyone do with the trail that's so cold? When I get back to headquarters, I'll inquire around. Maybe I can learn something. Maybe. If you do, my friend Commissioner Barnes will get word to me. Good. Would it make it easier to spend a few days with my party? It will be better for me in the jungle. Alone. I still want the truth about your parents. If you know anything, then... How could you know anything? The others don't. I will meet you here tonight at moonrise and take you to Lanassi. Lanassi is dead. What sort of trick is this? Why would Gamboso lie to me? Lanassi will tell you. If I told you, you would not believe me. Kokoli followed the jungle boy from the village and talked to him. Ungala, Kokoli. Later. We dare do nothing while the white man is in the village. But if the jungle boy talks to Lanasi, we dare have... do nothing ourselves. We must be wise. Use the white man's law to get rid of him. Someone moving.
This is the trail. The hut is just beyond the first bend. Aren't you going with me? Give this to her. She'll know I sent you. Your people are known for their treachery. I'd rather have you with me. If you say so. But I've risked my life to bring you this far. You'll understand when you talk to Lanassi. I'll go along. Food and water. What brings you here? I have come to talk with you, Lanassi. Who are you? You do not speak like one of my tribe. Well, you can see that I'm not. I am blind. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. It doesn't matter. What brings you here? Only my own people are allowed to see me. Long ago, you knew a man named Hastings. Who says so? Coley sent me. Captain Boso would kill us both if he knew. Coley knows this. He said we must take that risk. Why? What do you want of me? You knew me as a little boy, Lanassi. Juana Hastings was my father. You? you? You were the little boy that I held in my arms? The one that I hid in the jungle to save his life? What became of my mother and father, Lanassi? Where did they go? I gave you to a white man. He said he would take care of you. He kept his word. But what about my people? Where are they? In a cave. In the hills above Jeruti village. They are dead? Yes. They were buried in the cave where they were killed. Was it Gamboso who killed them? He had them killed. I would have taken the story to the soldiers. So he blinded me. I'll settle with Gamboso. You are throwing away your life to gain nothing. Gambosa is a demon, and his daughter a she-devil. I'm not afraid of them. They must be punished for what they've done. But the punishment must be sure. Take the story to the soldiers, and they cannot escape. What good is a story that I can't prove? The proof is in the cave with your father. Every night he would write in a little book. There are many caves in Jeruti Hills. How will I know which is the right one? There is a trail leading from the village to a point of rocks. Follow the cliff until you... why you were looking for Lanasi. Where is the weapon you killed her with? Vama Watisi.
Better turn in, Linda. We break camp at daylight. Matt, are you asleep? No. Just thinking. Oh, thinking how unpleasant it is to owe your life to someone. Without any way to repay him. Good night, dear. Night, dear. What's happening, Gamboso? I do not know, Buana. Baru! This man claims we have seen peace. Why have you taken him prisoner? He killed one of our people. It was the old blind woman in the jungle hut. Well, there must be some mistake. Now, exactly what has happened? She was murdered, but I didn't do it. How could I have killed her? Was there any blood on my knife or spear? Well, was there? I saw her fall and saw him kneeling over her. He could have strangled her. This is what killed her. Poison dart from a blowgun. I've heard of them, but I've never saw one before. If I did it, Where's the blowgun? I do not know, but it must have been him. There was no one else there to do it. You were there. Do you accuse my daughter of this murder? I accuse you both of many things. You lied to me, said Lanassi was dead, because you didn't want me to talk with her. Lanassi is dead, as I told you. She is now. But before she died, she told me that my parents are buried in a cave above Jeruti. She was killed before she could tell me which cave. Why would anyone care if he found the cave? They were killed on Gamboso's orders. There's proof of that in the cave. Who told you that woman was Linasi? It was... She told me herself. Yes, she could have said that. Her name was Aganza. Her mind is gone. She chose to live alone in the jungles. We cared for her there. Why would Bamba kill her if he thought she was Linasi? I know only what I saw. My father must pass judgment on him. No native chief can sentence a white man. That's the law. Then you must arrest him, Buana, and see that he is punished. But, but I'm not a law officer. I have no authority to arrest him, even if I wanted to. Then what is to be done? He killed one of our people, and he must be punished. Well, if you believe that, then you must take him to the nearest police barracks and charge him with the crime. Do you think I did it? I certainly don't. Nor I. And I don't think you'll have any trouble convincing the police. Do you think they'll let me get to the police? They'll report that I have escaped. The river is deep and muddy. My body will never be found. You can't let them do it, Dad. I have no authority to stop it. These things must be handled according to law. But I'll hold you responsible for his safety. Linda! Untie him! Give him a spear! Got us into it. Can't back out now. Do as I said. Untie him! To report this to the commissioner. He will be very interested. And I'm going to search the caves of Jeruti and find the thing you're so afraid of. He'll be interested in that, too. Well, he's right, Linda. He's going to give me a bad time with the commissioner. I'm more afraid of Baru. What do you mean? We'll be lucky if she doesn't kill us in our sleep before morning. No native would dare raise a hand against a government agent.
when they leave the village tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are you going to let them get away like Kokole and Bamba? The commissioner knows they reached our village. We must have proof they left it safely. They must not live to reach the caves. You will see that they don't. But it must happen after they have left the village. The closer to Jarute, the better. Bamba! Bamba! I have followed your trail for more than a day to catch up with you. Why? The white safari is on its way to Jaruti. They will never reach there. Peru and her warriors are following them. <laughs> they don't dare attack a white safari. What happens will look like an accident. I listened outside the longhouse and heard them plan it. Why should I trust you? How do I know this isn't a trick to get me captured again? Would I have taken you to Lanasi if I were not your friend? I wonder. Lanasi was killed so I could be blamed for her murder. You do not really believe I had a part in that? I didn't until now. Now I wonder if it wasn't you who killed her. I see you returned and robbed the body. She would have wanted me to have it. Lanasi was my mother. I didn't know that. There are many things you do not know. Gambosa was not the true chief of my people. He came among us when I was very young. Your father knew the truth. So Gamboso had him killed. But before he died, he put it all in a little book. Gamboso didn't know that. My mother never told him. Why would he want to kill the wards? They know nothing of what you told me. They know enough. And that girl made a foolish threat. She said she would search the caves for the proof. How far is the safari from here? An hour's run toward the river. Bunga, bunga. Dad, I'm going ahead to look for Danny. Yes, Missy. Where's Miss Linda? She said we need fresh game for supper. She's going to get some. Ngawa, no more panga. Change your mind about traveling with us, have you? No, I found out you're in trouble. 
You must turn back. Turn back? That's out of the question. I'm on a government mission. You'll never reach Jeruti. Boru and her warriors are... We'd better talk alone. But I'm a government agent. They wouldn't dare attack my safari. They don't dare let you search the caves for the evidence against Gamboso. Evidence of what? I spent a week in Gamboso's village. It and... is not Gamboso's village. He's not even of our tribe. Gamboso came when Kokoli was a little boy. He killed the chief, and then Gamboso took his place. The real chief was my father. My parents knew of it, and they would have told. So Gamboso had them killed. Why didn't someone in the tribe report it to the commissioner? My mother tried to. They blinded her as a warning to the others. Well, I, I suppose I could turn back and get an escort of soldiers. But would Boro let me get through? She'd have no reason to attack you if you were going away from Jeruti. Very well. We'll turn back as soon as Linda returns. Linda? Isn't she with you? Oh, she went off toward the river to get some game. You make camp here for the night, so I'll know where to find you. No, it's hard to kill a buffalo. He's more dangerous than a panther. I've got to get it. Look. turning back tomorrow. Turning back? Why? I'll let him tell you that. Aji, better take over guard. We're turning in. Yes, Buena. Well, there's no sense in you sitting up all night. I suppose you're right. But I doubt that I'll sleep. <laughs> uh... 
I'm not even going to take my boots off. Just in case. That's a good idea. But I don't think there's much chance of a surprise attack with Bomba and Kokoli out there watching. Good night. Good night. sign of them. They may be out there anywhere. You wait here. I'm going up high. Juana, they'll see you. I'll be up above them.
Now we won't have to turn back. That's the last we'll see of them. This is not no for rule, Bawanda. They've got to kill you now. They have no choice. Nonsense. They found they can't do anything against our guns. They've driven off all your safari boys. Killed most of them. Poor devils. This is bad. What's to be done? Do you think you can get by Baru with a message to Buana Barnes? I can try. Tell him to bring soldiers to Giruti. If we're not there, backtrack until you find us. I understand. Come. Won't they ambush us before we get to Giruti? If they do, we'll have to find cover and hold them off until help comes. How much further, Bamba? Three hours. Maybe four. Mr. Burns. Let's swing over and see what he wants. He acts pretty excited. Bamba and White Buanas in Jeruti need help. Badly. Grab a paddle. Let's go. Just ahead. I can see it through the trees. Oh, I never thought we'd make it without a fight. I can't understand it. The 
place looks deserted. Good morning. Matacuan. Good morning. Matacuan. What is it, Bamba? Where is everyone? They haven't been gone long. The ashes are still warm. They must have moved the tribe to another location. Why? You suppose it was sickness or plague, maybe? No, if they were going to stay away, they'd take the kettle with them. See if there's any food in the huts. Thing. Just empty meal baskets. Baru knew we were coming here for help. I'm afraid that she... Dad! He was killed with a Maasai spear. Baru got here before us and drove the people out. That leaves us wide open to attack. I can't understand it. If she meant to attack, an ambush in the jungle would have been better. We'll have to barricade ourselves in the longhouse and wait for Coca-Cola to bring help. You do that. I'll try and find Baru, see what she's up to. As long as I can go out in the jungle, we won't starve to death. Did you see any sign of Boru? Yes, way back in the jungle. Getting ready to attack? No, she was stretching her men out in a long line through the jungle. What for? I don't know, unless she thinks we're going to go back the way we came. <laughs> well, it looks like we're in no immediate danger. No, I've got time to go look for the caves where my people are buried. Wouldn't it be best if we stayed together? Boru won't try anything till dark. I'll be back by then. Come on, Nikimba. Come on. Ah! 
Hi, you would. You're a welcome sight, Barnes. Believe me. Where's Bomba? Well, he went up to the caves. My daughter's gone after him. We got word over the grapevine there was trouble in Jeruti. We were on our way here when Kakoli intercepted us. What's this I hear about Gamboso running amok? Well, it's a little uh, complicated, but the gist of it is that a couple of nights ago we were attacked and most of my safari boys were killed. We better begin at the beginning. We were in Gamboso's village. Bomba came in. Why did you follow me? If Bruce They want you back at the village. Mr. Barnes and the soldiers. Wait. I think it'll be faster this way. to the jungle. It's coming this way on a downwind. Start back piles on the water's edge. Bomba and my daughter. They'll be right in the middle of it. We'll never get through to them. If there's a way out, Bomba won't find it. Do you smell smoke? Yes, I think I do.
think the cave goes back into the hill. Your name is Hastings Bomber. It's all here, the whole story, just as Kokoli told it. Gomboso and his men attacked the village. They killed Kokoli's father and forced the tribe to accept him as their chief. Your father had been witness to the attack and Gomboso hunted him through the jungle. <laughs> be tried for his crimes against your people and against the white warners, John and Laura Hastings. Uh, uh, and now, by authority of the governor, I give you a new, and I think, a better chief. The son of the chief who ruled you so wisely before the coming of Gamboso. Kakole. It would be good to tell my people of the friend who did all this for them. Bamba. He's gone. Without even waiting to be thanked for all he did for us. Whatever Bamba does is not for the thanks he might get, but for the satisfaction that comes of helping a friend. Hastings! His name may be Hastings to you. But he'll always be bomber to the friends in the jungle he's gone back to. 